Hey guys, in this video we're going to create this web app dashboard in Sketch. Now we're going to create it from scratch and I'm going to show you tips and tricks which can help you to speed up your design process and without further ado, let's jump into the tutorial. All right, so let's go ahead and let's create this web app from scratch. So the very first thing that I'm gonna do is bring up here the keyboard so you can see all of the keys which I'm using. And we're going to go on the top left and click on artboard. And as you can see, we have a few artboard options right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to select from the dropdown responsive web and I'm going to select desktop HD. Now, as you can see, if we zoom in, zoom out actually, we can see that we have this uh, desktop, which is 1440 pixel of width, uh, which is a good uh, base point in order to start a dashboard design. So let's go ahead and let's start by creating uh, the side menu right here. So I'm just going to try and uh, guess uh, the proportions. So I'm going to create both the side menu and also set uh, the top menu bar, the header. And uh, what we're gonna do now is uh, we're going to make uh, both of these uh, white and uh, this is going to be a good start. Now let's go ahead and uh, leverage icon jar, which is uh, basically a software which uh, we can use in order to grab uh, icons. And uh, by the way, if you don't have uh, icon jar, you can simply go on uh, uh, internet and uh, on Google, and I'm just going to move it here and uh, start uh, pressing icon jar. And as you can see, geticonjar.com, this is the website where you want to go and uh, try icon jar to for free. So basically once you download it, uh, uh, you're going to be able to use uh, icon jar and uh, we're going to actually have uh, um, the, uh, the Google material icons as the icons of our preference for this specific project. So you can download the icon jar for free and also the Google material icons, which should already be inside icon jar uh, by default. Uh, but if you don't find them there, you simply uh, Google, Google material icons, icon jar, and you're going to find them right away. So as we are here, we're just going to grab some of these uh, icons and uh, move them uh, actually outside of the artboard since uh, I want to do something which I'm going to show you in uh, just a moment. So I'm just going to go here, browse through the icons and uh, I'm just going to grab uh, a few of these. Uh, and uh, as you can see, we can easily move around uh, and uh, really have a look and uh, just drag and drop them inside of uh, our web app dashboard. So it's very easy, very straightforward. And uh, this is going to enable us to create uh, um, really interesting, visually interesting uh, uh, UIs and um, interfaces in a fast and efficient way. So I'm going to distribute uh, uh, evenly and as you can see icon jar by default is creating these uh, folders now I want to get rid of these folders so I'm going to use shift command and G in order to ungroup them and the reason being is that I don't want to have these paths so I'm going to use sh shift and command to select these and we're going to get rid of these paths now I want these icons to, to have a similar width, so I'm just going to select all of them, um, group and, and basically click on this lock icon so that they're going to be pretty much uh, uh, locked in ratio. And uh, I'm going to just uh, add some values. Now, some icons granted are going to look uh, smaller, others are going to look bigger, so you have to manually adjust these uh, based on the type of icon you're, you're dealing with. But uh, for the most part, I think we are in a good shape now. Let's just distribute horizontally again. And uh, now let's also make this one a little bit bigger. Let's scale from the center since uh, that's going to enable us to use some more granular, um, basic granular um, 
update. So let's do that. And let's bring all of the icons here. So I'm quite happy with the dimension. Maybe I just want to make them a touch smaller overall. And uh, or actually, I'm going to make them quite a bit smaller. Not really feeling them right now, but I think like this, uh, it's uh, looking pretty good. So let's go ahead here. Let's uh, use uh, a gray, but with a tint of blue for these icons. And uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think we're in good shape. Probably one thing that I want is to have a little bit more distance between one icon and the other. So I'm just going to do like this. And over here, we're also going to change the border colors. I'm going to leverage the color of the icons and uh, I think we're in uh, good shape. So let's pretend that this uh, is the section of the app that uh, we just selected. So I'm just going to make it blue in order to make it clear that this section has been selected. And I'm also going to add a rectangle bar on the very left. And as I'm doing this, I'm going to remove the border and uh, boom, we are in a good place now. Um, one thing that I'm going to do is actually use this as the logo. So let's pretend that that is the logo of our app. And uh, let's bring these ones a little bit down. And we're going to center align these uh, vertically. So everything is looking pretty well. Maybe the logo is going to be just a touch bigger than uh, the other icons. Or actually, let's, let's undo. Let's do like this. And uh, yeah, I think it's uh, looking pretty good. We're going to just make it a little bit darker, a little bit, uh, uh, just to give it a visual differentiation compared to these uh, these icons right here. So I think so far, this is starting to look uh, pretty good. Um, over here, we want to have a search bar. So what we're gonna do, and by the way, we're also going to make this uh, just a touch uh, bigger. I want to have this, uh, um, this visual style where we're having uh, a lot of uh, white space in between. So this is uh, in width 87. So we're trying and match uh, the height, which was already pretty pretty much there. It was 86 instead of 87. So yeah, we're definitely in good shape. Let's uh, center these icons right here. Let's center this one here as well. And uh, what we're going to do is to add a search bar over here and also start adding some text. OK, this is way bigger compared to what we want. Uh, and also the color is off. So let's give it a um, let's give it 10 percent. And uh, let's zoom in and type in search. So we're also going to make this uh, bigger. And um, I think I'm happy with uh, using Lato, which by the way, is a free Google web font. And uh, if you don't have uh, Lato in your system, you can simply, again, just Google Lato. And as you can see, fonts.google.com, Lato Google Fonts, this is exactly where you find uh, Lato for free. You can just uh, click on download family and it's going to download automatically and uh, you can easily add it to your fonts in uh, your system. So let's go back to the search feature. I'm going to go on icon jar and search for search. How's that for a search query? So let's go over here and again, let's uh, just remove the path. I'm also going to ungroup this since I just want to see the shape in the layers panel. And uh, I'm going to scale it down just a little bit. And uh, I'm going to try and center it uh, as uh, the logo, more or less. Maybe the logo, we need to bring it up just a touch. And um, I think we're in a good position. All right, so let's bring this one up. Up. and uh, actually let's make it gray 
it's going to be a darker tone of gray. So basically we're setting the gray color for this uh, specific uh, design system and uh, probably, okay, maybe you can make it bold. Yeah, quite happy with, uh, with how it looks. And um, we're probably going to do something. So let's bring uh, this rectangle down. So it's uh, in the lower part of the layers panel and I'm going to give it a drop shadow value. So it's going to look uh, a little bit different and it's going to help us uh, to really get that uh, depth effect. So let's go over here. Let's use a, a blue tonality for, and also remove the border. So I'm just going to make this a uh, little bit blurry but not too visible. So I'm just lowering the opacity. Um, you can't really see it uh, from the video, but I just lowered the opacity. So it looks uh, a little bit softer in uh, the shadow. And uh, I think overall this uh, is uh, looking good. I'm going to make this one outside so that you won't be able to see the outline over here. And um, I think we're in pretty good shape. Now we're going to add uh, the profile picture of uh, the user on the very right. Let's go ahead here and we're going to call it him uh, Andrew. Um, I have no idea. Atkinson's. Let's just make up a name. <laughs> and uh, let's remove the border and uh, one thing which I'm going to do is to actually go on unsplash.com and I'm going to bring it up here. So unsplash.com, great uh, resource uh, for finding uh, royalty free pictures. And uh, we're just going to select uh, a, a person's. Um, so let's go ahead uh, and uh, use her as the profile picture. And I'm going to select the oval, copy and paste the, the image in. You can also download it. And uh, I'm going to select both bitmap and the oval below. And I'm going to click on mask. And as you can see, now the picture is masked inside of the uh, oval. So as you can see, we can modify the ratio of the picture. And you can also use plugins for doing these kind of things. You can use craft. They wanted to specifically show you how the mask feature uh, works in these kind of scenarios and how flexible it is really. So I need to change her name. Her name is going to be Anna. And we're going to make uh, the text uh, darker. All right. I think we are in a, in a good position over here. And probably what I want to do is uh, to also have uh, a arrow for basically accessing more uh, menu items in the top right. So again, I'm going to ungroup, delete this top path and also use the rotate tool in order to just rotate this, make it smaller and uh, we're going to change the color of course we're going to use uh, this color right here because i still wanted to give it uh, quite a bit of emphasis but not too much all right so i think overall we're going in a good direction one thing that i want to do right now is to copy one of these uh, rectangles and create the main structure for the main part of the dashboard. So that's what I'm doing right here. Just going to bring it here and uh, probably just going to adjust it. Probably going to adjust it later on as well in the process, but so far so good. So let's click on the desktop and let's change the background color so that we can add some uh, some visual differentiation and also emphasis to this section right here. So as I just changed the background color, I can see that uh, uh, we have 
a little bit too much of a drop shadow here so we're going to just tone it down a little bit we don't want it to be too um, too much I'm also going to tone down the borders so I don't want to have a lot of uh, visual emphasis on the border I'm going to copy the style and paste the style so that uh, it's going to be consistent I'm also going to use a little bit of a radius but not too much maybe four a value of four it's going to be enough for the specific element now I'm going to copy or actually to lock the layer so that we can uh, move around and do a certain amount of things in an easy way I'm also going to use some blocks uh, in order to create uh, the, um, the basic outline for this box so we're going to have the blog post right here and also another section which is going to be horizontal uh, over here so I think this is uh, pretty much good to go let's just remove the fill and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to group all of these and uh, just uh, um, make these 50% uh, and I'm going to lock them so I basically have these uh, as uh, layers for reference so I'm gonna go here I'm going to make a very big uh, um, rectangle right on this section I'm going to make it blue and uh, let's start adding some uh, text right here so the text which I'm going to use is going to be the startup funding just making this this up you can use uh, any text that uh, that you want really so let's go over here make it a little bit bigger and let's bring it to two lines left align and uh, it's actually a little bit too big yep this is uh, this is better let's make it lighter and uh, let's make this white all right so we're in a good shape right here actually let's let's bring it back to, to regular i think light is a little bit too light so okay let's also um duplicate the search we're going to have the date 2020 perfect let's make this one white and uh, here we're going to have a call to action to read more about this specific article so i think overall this is uh, this is looking pretty good um, it's quite balanced and uh, we're always going to just adjust it uh, um, but for the most part quite happy with it so let's copy this which at the moment is white we need to bring it to a darker color again and uh, let's rename this very first article and uh, for this text we're going to bring it down bring uh, just make it smaller and uh, probably going to use a bold for this article and uh, I think this is, this is starting to look pretty good let's uh, go ahead and make this one smaller since this is going to be the actual the actual lorem ipsum type of uh, um, of style so we're literally going to go lipsum.com and we're just going to grab uh, I agree of course of course I agree and uh, we're just going to grab uh, some some text from here let's make this one smaller and three lines uh, is enough also going to make it just a little bit smaller as well um, character is going to be zero let's add some line height so it looks better just visually less uh, overwhelming if you wish 
And we're also going to copy the call to action with more. However, we're going to change the color and make it blue. Now, on top of that, uh, we also wanted the, um, the date. So we're going to add it here. Now, when it comes to the date, uh, I think that we can make it smaller and uh, let's uh, give it uh, a transform of, uh, um, so it's a little bit, uh, um, it has a different visual appearance, if you wish. And also maybe let's add a little bit of, uh, of character of uh, distance between uh, one letter and the other. And I think uh, we are in good shape at the moment. Um, this one is 17, this one is 17. Um, probably let's tone it down. So basically all of these, uh, both of these elements are going to be 15. So it's consistent with uh, the, the characters here. And uh, actually let's, let's make this one just a little bit smaller, a little bit of less line height. We're going to make this lighter as well. We don't want to drive a, a lot of uh, visual emphasis. So I think we're good. Let's just double check the lines over here. Yeah, overall I'm quite pleased uh, at how it's looking so far. Let's just round up this, this number, this value. And let's create the rectangles, which are going to <clears throat> contain the, the actual articles, um, images. Let's bring this one here. So we have a little bit more space for these images. And let's give the same color as the paragraph. All right, this is starting to look uh, pretty well. And uh, you're going to see in just a moment, once you start adding images, this is really going to, to get, uh, um, to get live. So, all right, it's looking good. Now, what we want to do is to actually copy this. So, basically using this shortcut, using the, basically using Alt, moving a layer around so I can duplicate it, and then Command plus D in order to duplicate it again in the same uh, X or Y axis. So this overall is looking good. Probably just want to get rid of the content below. And uh, let's actually do that right away. So basically all of these groups that we created below, I'm just going to get rid of it and uh, maybe make this one a little bit bigger. All right, uh, let's add just one more filler word. Just so that it looks uh, better. And uh, I'm just going to duplicate all this. And bring the dates uh, more on the right. Okay, this uh, is uh, looking good so far. So what we're gonna do is actually just bring this uh, a little bit. I'm just going to move this keyboard a little bit. And uh, just going to make uh, Give it a little bit of more extra uh, breathing room, if you wish. And we're going to lock this again. Group all of these items right here. And uh, we're just going to bring them on the right and a little bit on the left. And then give uh, a horizontal distribute. So we have a little bit more uh, wiggle room with these kind of elements. And uh, now we're going to use craft, which is uh, 
a free plugin for Sketch. And uh, again, guys, you can download it for free. Just uh, just Google Craft, uh, which is a plugin by Envision. You can download the plugin, then the um, you can you can easily use it, and uh, you're going to see it here on uh, the side menu. However, you can also use the masks for what we're just going to um, what we're about to do. But um, I would personally suggest you to to have a look at Craft. Uh, and uh, you can go over here, unsplash. Be sure to use command and then uh, uh, use the actions because if you don't click on hold the command as you're doing this, you won't be able to basically um, enter an action. So let's go over here and for the photo, we're just going to type in minimal, which is something which I do quite often for these kind of photos and uh, uh, you can find a lot of photos with uh, a very minimal uh, aspect to them and uh, it's quite cool. I think, uh, I think we're just going to use uh, some of these. Uh, um, so just photos which are quite minimal in nature and uh, we don't need to, to really worry about uh, the, the white space too much. So we're just going to delete the borders right here and um, I think this is uh, this is looking okay, not too sure about this one. Maybe let's, let's add this one as it adds a touch of color. And uh, let's just scroll down some more and see if we can find uh, anything, uh, anything better. Um, I think this one is looking good. So we always want to have just a touch of, of color around. And uh, let's go here and uh, right uh, in something like San Francisco, I missed the end. And uh, let's see if we can find uh, a cool photo of uh, the bridge. Okay, this one is a uh, is, is really cool photo, but uh, we want something which um, won't uh, um, basically have issues with the text uh, as we're having now. I remember I, I saw a photo of San Francisco bridge um, some time ago, which was uh, much more minimal. But uh, yeah, for some reason, I can't seem to be able to to find it at the moment. Um, but yeah, overall, I think this is uh, this is looking good so far. And um, I'm just going to give it one more shot uh, when it comes to this bridge, because there are so many photos of the San Francisco bridges. It's really... Um, it's really difficult to find uh, that specific one, but uh, overall, I think we we got like the, the concept from a high level. And one thing that we can do with this photo, which by the way is pretty cool, is we can apply an overlay. So let's give it a shot with this one, which might be a little bit like we, we still we want a photo which uh, isn't uh, uh, which hasn't all that much uh, of uh, text overlaying um, of features overlaying the text. So basically we want something which is uh, quite minimal in nature, but still adds a touch of color. So basically this, uh, this would really help uh, um, when it comes to creating a, you know, a cool effect. This one is it's looking pretty good. And um, but still maybe it's something even more minimal maybe something like this, I'm not too sure. And uh, as you can see, these type of uh, steps in the process, it's just about experimenting, trying things out. Uh, like a lot uh, of uh, the, uh, the job of a designer is just experimenting and uh, really trying uh, ideas out because it's, um, unless you already created something and you're trying to replicate it exactly, um, as you replicated originally, it's going to be difficult to just, you know, um, have something uh, perfectly done the very first time you're doing it. So keep this in mind uh, and uh, just going to use this photo right here. Or actually, let's go with something even more, more light. I know we're spending a lot of time, but I really want to insist on uh, showing uh, the process and what design is really like as you're as you're creating something from from scratch especially so this is this is also looking good 
And uh, let's just stick with this one for now. And uh, let's apply a overlay. So we're going to go over here, um, add a second fill by clicking on the plus, as you can see. And we can just lower the opacity um, just a little bit. And uh, as you can see, this um, this helps us to create uh, a different um, a different feeling. And uh, we can also change the uh, the color right here. We can make uh, we can add a little bit more of um, visual emphasis also by using the gradients. So let's go ahead here and uh, let's give gradients a try. And we probably want to, to switch this up. All right. And uh, let's add some uh, little bit of gradient. Let's bring down the opacity just a bit. And let's make this one this. And this one is going to be around these lines. Let's make it a little bit lighter. All right, this is starting to look pretty interesting. So let's add a, just a touch of radius, also in these images right here. And overall, this is starting to look pretty cool. So let's go ahead and let's create the vertical element for this page. So this is going to be right uh, over here. And uh, we're going to, to use some more text from uh, the Lipsum website. So let's go back uh, on the Lipsum website and I'm just going to grab uh, some more text for this uh, horizontal section we're creating. And uh, Let's just add it here. And I think uh, probably we just want two lines for, for this one. Let's just bring it down a notch. And overall, this uh, is looking pretty good. So let's go over here. Let's, let's make a divider line so we can drive some um, visual emphasis to the element uh, at the bottom or at least create uh, a differentiation between uh, one section and the other now again we want uh, a different uh, picture for for this element Maybe let's just move around uh, and make the border just a little bit more visible since at the, at the moment it's not uh, really all that much visible and let's go ahead here and uh, find uh, some more cool pictures so all right this is looking interesting and uh, probably we want something just a little bit different okay this is this is an interesting one maybe we can go with uh, something more minimal <laughs> okay this is uh, this is a very cool picture of a giraffe's head with uh, a lot of sky around it. So we're probably going to just go with this one. And uh, the very last thing that we need uh, is to actually have a, dot, a title over here. So this is going to be overview. And uh, I'm going to copy and paste the style from uh, the data which we added just a moment ago and uh, this is going to be the title of uh, the section so overall i'm quite pleased with this um, maybe let's just uh, create uh, one more element which is going to be the tag and uh, let's go ahead here is the rectangle tool bring this backwards and uh, add uh, a whole lot of radius let's bring it here and let's remove the border and add 
this color right here. Now, I don't want to have a, a whole lot of emphasis, so I'm going to make the text, the, text the, the same color, and the radius is, is going to have a, a opacity of 10%. Let's uh, group it together. And uh, here we go. Um, this is looking pretty well. Let's just rename this to latest. Let's bring it a little bit. Let's make it a little bit smaller. And uh, I think we're in good shape overall. Um, last thing that we can do, of course, is uh, we can go ahead uh, and uh, group these layers, for example, and uh, start renaming them uh, one by one. So it's more um, easy to, to navigate, so that the file is more easy to navigate. This is going to be profile, and uh, we're just going to, to group them all together. And again, guys, there's no like right or wrong, or wrong way to, to group and rename files. It really depends on uh, what uh, you, you need uh, and uh, how you prefer working with these files. So it really depends on uh, your personal preferences and also if you're working with teams uh, or not uh, and uh, things of that nature. But um, yeah, for the most part, this is going to be uh, pretty set uh, and good to go. So, all right. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and uh, I'm thrilled to see your web app. So feel free to, to DM me if uh, you're creating one. And uh, this is pretty much it for this uh, SketchUp tutorial. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.